All right. We are back with the GSMC Wrestling Laureate Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. I'm your host, Eric Rodriguez, here every Monday through Friday, 8 p.m. Pacific Time, 11 p.m. Eastern Time, here to talk about everything in terms of professional wrestling. Just going to reflect on what we talked about right quick. We had our WWE SmackDown uh, preview. Now we're going to talk about some Thursday Night Wrestling. Um, now we're going to talk about some of the reviews that happened on TNA Impact, also, um, you know, Honor Club. But before we do any of that, I want to remind you guys to go ahead and hit up that super chat. Uh, if you got a burning question or a hot take about professional wrestling or just something you've been dying to get off your chest, this show is all about keeping the conversation going. Obviously, making sure your voice is part of the mix. So don't be shy. Drop your thoughts inside that chat. And if you really want to make sure your comment or question it's noticed or why not use that super chat just hit the dollar sign below the chat box it's guaranteed that whatever you have to say is going to be featured on the show plus it's a great way to support our channel the gsmc sports network your super chats obviously you know they helps us you know kind of keep the lights on to all these podcasts all these awesome podcasters bringing you guys amazing sports content that you guys love so much we are absolutely super grateful for each and every one of you guys who joins us here daily on the GSMC Sports Network. Your support makes all the difference. So let's keep the conversation going. Send in those super chats, those super stickers. You guys, you guys are super awesome. And together, we will make sure this podcast is bigger, better, and uh, you know, stronger than ever. <clears throat> Once again, if the super chat is not your thing, hit up gsmcpodcast.net to tip and donate. And leave your comment, question, or concern. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like here at the GSMC Sports Network. We do love a lot of peace, love, and positivity a thousand and ten percent of the time. Of course, feedback is a gift. We appreciate every little bit of your support. Don't forget to Superman punch that like and subscribe button to the show. Follow the show, follow the network, and together we can watch and talk about some awesome wrestling content on the GSMC Wrestling Laureate Podcast. Every Monday through Friday, 8 p.m. Pacific Time, 11 p.m. Eastern Time. All right, so let's talk about some Thursday night wrestling. Some Thursday night wrestling, just kind of, you know. First and foremost, obviously, um, my thoughts, my prayers, my condolences to the family that have to the families that have been affected by this crazy natural disaster. It's uh, you know, it's it it sucks. You know what I mean? It's unprecedented. You know, it, uh, you know, I'm not. Uh, I'll keep it brief. You know, sometimes when you wake up in the morning, you kind of see all these things that happen on the news. All this, you know. Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. And like you think to yourself, you're like, that's never gonna happen to me. It's never gonna happen. I'm sorry. And then when it finally does, and then like in this shock, your heart is broken. You've seen your loved ones affected. You know, people are people are huge. It's it's crazy. This is a this is a catastrophe. You know, Hurricane Helen, you know, obviously it's you know kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. But um, now we're going to talk about some TNA impact. Um, once again, Hurricane Helen, uh, you know, basically kind of, you know, sc screwed over what TNA wrestling was going to do. Uh, they had a um, they had a special with Tom Hannafin, Tom Hannafin, who basically relives relives the best uh, Bound for Glory special edition, uh, you know, on TNA impact. First, they talk about, you know, the X-Division champion, Mike Bailey, taking on Frankie Kazarian, Bound for Glory 2022. It was the first time, you know, ever, it was the first time ever match at Bound for Glory in 2022, wherein Frankie Kazarian challenged Speedball Mike Bailey for the X-Division championship. In the end, it was Kazarian who captured the X-Division uh, title for the fifth time by submitting Bailey with cross-face chicken wing. Uh, you know, nowadays in, you know, you don't really see the success that Frankie Kazarian really had back in the day. Uh, just a mere two years later, you had Speedball Mike Bailey win the championship, lose it to Zachary Wentz, then win it back. So, you know, I like Speedball Mike Bailey. You know, this I think this was slightly maybe around the same time as like, you know, the formation of Speedball Mountain. But Frankie Kazarian, I, I like this kid. I, I think, I you know, I still feel like he has a lot left in the tank. And, it, you know, should be pretty interesting to kind of, you know, kind of get his. All right, next we have the Call Your Shot Gauntlet, a gauntlet match Bound for Glory 2021. The Call Your Shot Gauntlet match uh, has been a staple for Bound for Glory over the last several years. 
Uh, you never know what who might show up, and for good reason. The winner of the match earns a championship opportunity of their choosing anytime, any place for up to one year. In 2021, the gauntlet match was won by Moose, who called his shot later in the night and to become the new Impact Wrestling World Championship, which is, you know, exactly what, you know, and it started this kind of, you know, it started the system, you know, um, obviously it brought a lot of, you know, chaos, it brought a lot of, um, you know, it brought the return of the demon, also brought Matt Cardona, there's a lot of, you know, People who debut during this match, Bound for Glory, is definitely one of TNA's most prominent pay-per-views. I don't, you know, I think, uh, uh, you know, next to Slammiversary, it's kind of like that signature uh, PLE that TNA have. You're not, you know, it's like a WrestleMania. Yeah, you know, I'm going to say, it. yeah, you know, it is, it is kind of like a WrestleMania. It is. And, uh, you know, obviously... Having big names like Moose kind of come into the picture, it, it was worth it. It was cool. Uh, Knockouts World Champion Jordan Grace takes on Masha Slamovich, Bound for Glory 2022. The Knockouts World Championship was on the line at Bound for Glory 2022 as Jordan Grace defended against the undefeated Slamovich in perhaps one of the most physical Knockouts World title matches of all time. Grace and Slamovich took each other to the absolute limits when the dust had settled it was Grace who reigned supreme following an innovative top rope Grace driver. The match was runner-up in match of the year voting for TNA. Um, and, you know, both of these superstars are very, very successful. Very, very, you know, they deserve respect. Jordan Grace is definitely on my list of the top women's wrestlers in professional wrestling industry right now. I got to be honest. And watching Slamovich kind of get kicked out of that tag team with Tasha Steeles, also um, uh, Alicia Edwards. I, you know, I kind of feel like good riddance. You know, maybe uh, TNA can try to find a way to get her singles career back on track where she could maybe have this match between Jordan Grace uh, part two. So, I, you know, I feel like that would uh, be pretty badass. Next, we have Bound for Glory 2023, uh, Moose versus PCO versus Rhino versus Steve Macklin, Monster's Ball. Uh, after being trapped with no food, no water, no light for 24 hours, Moose, PCO, Rhino, and Steve Macklin were unleashed in Monster's Ball at Bound for Glory 2023. No disqualifications, no countouts, and no shortage of weaponry. The only way to win is by pinfall or submission. After Bully Ray sent Macklin crashing through the table wrapped in barbed wire, it was PCO who capitalized off the chaos to win. Monsters Ball will return at this year's Bound for Glory as PCO defends both the Digital Media Championship and the International Heavyweight Championships against Matt Cardona, which is presented by the eye of the Salamander in theaters November 1st. You know, kind of, I think it's kind of cool how they kind of added that little. I had a little PL, you know, a little promotion there. All right, we have Impact World Champion Josh Alexander versus Eddie Edwards, Bound for Glory 2022. At an epic main event, Bound for Glory 2022, Josh Alexander looked to continue his record-setting reign as Impact World Champion when he defeated, um, when he defended the title against the leader of Honor No More, Eddie Edwards. Um, it was a crash between the two of the most accomplished individuals in the promotion's history, but only one could leave the biggest event of the year with the Impact World Championships. Following a breathtaking en encounter, Josh Alexander solidified himself as, at the time, the heart and soul of Impact Wrestling with the C4 spike for the win. You know, and just kind of, you know, reading something like this, it just kind of sucks that Josh Alexander has kind of, kind of felt wayside. You know, he's felt wayside to becoming the face of TNA. Obviously, you know, having a lot of dedication, a lot of, um, not sacrifice, a lot of uh, commitment. No, that's not the right word. A lot of, um, oh my God, damn it. Uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? A commitment. No, I just said that. Damn it. But anyways, Josh Alexander should deserve another run as the TNA World Champion. I'm sorry. They wanted to do it at Slammiversary this year, but, you know, during the match, mid-call, you know, they had, you know, they decided Nick Nemeth was the right decision. I po possibly think it could have went either way. Like, I, you know, Joe Hendry, Josh Alexander, Nick Nemeth, it doesn't matter who would win. TNA would have been put on the map. 
And I think a thousand ten percent, I want to see Josh Alexander bounce back. I don't want to see him leave TNA anytime soon. But uh, I don't know. It's just um, it's kind of crazy. On Saturday, October 26th, TNA Wrestling Showcase Pay-Per-View Event of the Year, Bound for Glory, comes to the Wayne State University Fieldhouse in Detroit, Michigan, where Joe Hendry will challenge Nick Nemeth for the TNA World Championship. Obviously, tickets are on sale now at etickets.com. Uh, or just, uh, you know, come to order, you know, TNA Plus. should be pretty interesting. So, uh, you know, kind of, you know, once again, giving thoughts and prayers to everybody affected by the hurricane. And I just, uh, you know, hope that you guys are safe. If you're listening from that area, you know, just uh, like I said, be safe. You know, you know, I, 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 yeah, I have a family. You know, I have a wife and kids. Obviously, uh, something like this, where it's a natural disaster, where it's like nobody's, nobody's really fault, except for you know, you want to jump into the whole global warming thing. But um, we're not going to talk about that. We're not going to get into this. It's a wrestling podcast. Nothing about politics or global issues. You know, um, but, uh, you know, I just, you know, kind of crazy, but, uh, but yeah. All right, moving on. Ring of Honor right now. My notes aren't popping up. Gotta love when technology helps you every day, but it could fail you drastically. Like, really, really. Okay, here we are. Oh, I was going to (laughs) say, damn. Uh, So first and foremost, we saw... Um, we saw the Ring of Honor World Six Man Tag Team Championships and Approving Ground Match. The Sons of Texas, Dusty Rhodes, and Marshawn Von Erich and Ross Von Erich uh, defeated the Premier Athletes Tony Nice, Aria Davari, and Mark Sterling via pinfall. The final reckoning from uh, Rhodes was, uh, you know, performed on Mark Sterling for the victory. Nyla Rose defeated Katie Arquette. Uh, with the Beast, the Bomb, MIT, the team of, uh, you know, Athena, Billy Sarks, Lexi Nair, were, um, you know, where Athena asked, what was Stark's problem? Stark said she was tired of Athena leaving her hanging while she was always, you know, kind of stepped on. And this is exactly what we thought was going to happen. I, you know, after Abaddon, you know, made her attack on Starks, obviously, Athena bailed. She bailed. Uh, Athena told Stark she, you know, to step aside because she had a problem, and she, you know, during the title celebration, and it's just, um, you know, Stark's left, and it's, you know, not much of a surprise here that this is probably going to be the next, you know, kind of feud going on, and a lot of people love this. A lot of, um, you know, just thinking about what's happened in world history, world wrestling history, you know, with Shawn Michaels and Diesel, where you had Diesel turn his back. You know, uh, Triple H and Dave Batista. Uh, you know, a lot of people love these underdogs that are treated like crap, kind of like what you're seeing with on SmackDown with Nia Jax and Tiffany Stratton. Um, you know, this could possibly push uh, Tiffany Stratton to become a babyface, but you know, that's still you know still a, you know that's still a pretty big push here. But overall, I would love to see Billy Starks dethrone Athena. And I, right now, at this point in time. I kind of feel like it's poetic justice. I feel like it'd be, you know, kind of great for her to win a championship. You know, kind of have a new breed. We all know Billy Stars can do it. She was a long reigning AE, not AEW, Ring of Honor uh, television champion. So there's no doubt in my mind she can come out and bring it every night, put the butts in the seats, ensure revenue for Ring of Honor, TNA, not TNA, uh, All Elite Wrestling, basically Tony Khan. Uh, so I, I think that's a great way to kind of, you know, kind of get into that. Anthony Henry, uh, Anthony Henry. I believe in Joe Henry. I'm just kidding. Uh, well, no, I, I do. I believe in Joe Henry. Uh, Anthony Henry and Beef defeated Anthony uh, Katena and Wes Barkley via pinfall. The Outrunners defeated the Infantry, which is kind of sad because I was banking on the Infantry, kind of bouncing back. Uh, the Ian uh, Rakobani and Caprice Coleman cut. Uh, you saw uh, Kenta Ko- uh, Kabashi defeat Samoa Joe. With Jay Lethal via pinfall, burning Lariat. And we had a Ring of Honor World Championship match. Mark Briscoe once again proves why he's the man of Ring of Honor, defeating this, um, defeating uh, Matt Taven with Mike Bennett via the, the Jay Drilla. Them boys, baby, them boys. He was able to return that, retain that championship, which is, uh, you know, badass. I fell in love with Mark Briscoe. I feel like he's one of the best wrestlers right now out there. And, you know, overall, no, he he deserves it. He deserves a thousand ten percent. 
All right, guys. So, hey, do not go anywhere. We're going to jump on into our next segment. We're going to talk about some WWE bad blood predictions. So grab your favorite snack, grab your favorite ice cold beverage, and join me here in about 25 seconds. <laughs> 